uh, series. Um, as you can see, we are now at the end of the January transfer window, so due for an update. But first, uh, as this is my first proper episode of this series, I'm going to be showing you uh, the tactics, the training, and the team I got in front of me for the rest of the season. So, as you can see, uh, we've got a couple of injuries, but none of them are major class, so it's not too bad. Uh, we've got Mirko Ranieri in goal, Louis Fazakuli at right back, Ante Achampung, uh, centre back, Fraser Fanks, centre back, Jack Oberstella, left back, Damien Scannell at the moment, <coughs> excuse me, on loan, uh, playing right midfield. Jack Gallagher and Lee Clark in the centre midfield. Joe He left mid. Kieran Hughes Mason, uh, striker with Ross Lafetti, his partner. And as you see, guys, we've got a couple of players also who are half decent on the bench. You've got Curtis Guthrie, Charlie Stratton, um, and you've got a couple of players that are going to come through eventually. You've got like so Scott Rogers, uh, Connor, McC Connor McLaren, and um, Barney Williams. Merrick James Lewis, um, and that's about it at the moment. So, guys, very happy with my squad. Obviously, um, it's a simple 4 4 2 tactic. Got a target man, a Trakestian. Sometimes, yeah, I play in poacher. Um, what I do, I try and make sure that uh, <clears throat> the players play to their best role for the club. Um, well, as close to it as possible. So, I've got two wing backs, limited defenders. Two wide midfielders, a deep line playmaker, and an advanced playmaker. A target man and a question, like I've already said. So that's the team. And then training, I basically uh, keep it nice and simple for them. Oh, team training, sorry. Uh, keep it balanced and average. There's nothing, no, no point doing it extreme at some professional level, I find. And the coaches, as you can see, still need a bit of work, but it's going to happen and it will come eventually. So let's look at the finances I done for this, this rest of the campaign. Uh, wrong place, sorry guys. Uh, da, da, da. Right. So as you know, I didn't join until uh, October. So I bought in Damien Scannell on loan, Charlie Stratton on a free from AFC Wimbledon, uh, Merrick James Lewis on a free, and Mirko Ranieri on a free. Players I've personally let go is Lewis Cumbers, John Main, and Scott Kinch, all on frees. Uh, basically just to free up some wage budget so I can splash out. The finance guys aren't looking too bad. Uh, we're £77 pound over our wage budget, but again, it's nothing nothing major, and at the moment we are 83 grand in the red. So let's go to the fixtures, and uh, if I remember rightly, I left you off just after my first game against Bill Ricky in FA Cup 4th qualifying round. So we played them in the league, and um, we had a 2 0 victory. Louis Fasigle and Kieran Hughes Mason getting the goals. We then played Maidenhead away and we lost 1 0. I was disappointed with this game, guys, as uh, I wanted to try and kick on and get a bit of a run going. But it didn't happen. A week later, then in the FA Cup first round, we had a, a giant killing, uh, beating Exeter 1 0 away from home. Ross Lafetti getting the goal for us. Uh, we then played Have Not and Waterloo away from home and we drew 2 0. Fraser Fangs and Jack Gallagher getting the goals for us. We then played Bishop Storford in the FA Trophy qual third qualifying round. Very disappointing in this defeat, guys, as uh, I wanted to make a good impact in, this in the tro in the league, uh, in the cups as well as the league, but didn't happen. We then played Salisbury, who were top of the table this time, and we drew 2 2. Ross Lafetti getting the two goals for us. We then played Eastleigh in the league, another away game, and we won 2 1. Kieran Hughes Mason and Ross Lafetti getting another goal there. We then played Oxford in the uh, FA Cup second round away from home. Uh, we were 1 0 up before James Constable equalised late for him and Ross Lafetti getting a goal for us. We then played Bromley and we won 3 1. Uh, Fraser France getting an own goal and a normal goal. Jack Gallagher getting one and Kieran Hughes Mason also getting one. We then played Hazen Yedin and we won 5 2. A very comfortable win. Uh, Ross Lafetti getting a hat trick. Curtis Guffrey and Joe Healy getting the others. We then played Oxford in the FA Cup second round replay and lost 2-0. Uh, Ross Lafetti picked up an injury. It was a very disappointing game, guys. Uh, I wanted us to... I, th I felt we could have won the game uh, going into it, but when we started, it just didn't, didn't click at all, and they got off to a fast start, and from that, we were facing a little half battle. We then hit back with a 2-1 win against Staines. 
Uh, Joe Healy and Kieran Hughes Mason came off the bench to get the goals. We then beat Tombridge 1 0. Ross Lefetti. Uh, it was again, guys, it was important we got a clean sheet as we had, as you can see we hadn't had one since uh, the Exeter game. So I thought that at that point that um, looking back anyway that a goalkeeper was needed. We then played FC Hornchurch and we won 2 0. Joe Healy getting the goal for us and they scored an own goal. But again, guys, as you can see, another clean sheet. We then played Sutton United and we drew 0-0. Uh, as you can see guys, looking at the fixture list, uh, the games were coming thick and fast and fitness was becoming a major issue. But again, it was important, another clean sheet. We then played AFC Hornchurch in the return fixture from a couple of days ago and we lost 1-0. A very disappointing game, uh, but as you can see by the starting lineup, uh, no Ross Lafetti, uh, Keenan Hughes Mason had to come off the bench. It was fitness guys, it really took its toll at this point. We then played Truru and we lost 2-0. And again, I just thought uh, this point I hadn't signed any players, and um, it was time to be done. I was time to strengthen uh, in a couple of positions, even if it was just backup, it needed to be done. We then hit back with a 2 1 win against Bath, Ross Lafetti getting the two goals for us. We then drew 1 1 with Boromwood, Ross Lafetti again getting the goal for us. And that leaves us up to date now, guys, and we've got Dorchester next. So in the table, guys, as you can see, we are fifth. Five points from fourth with a game in hand, but only a point clear of main head with a line in sixth. Um, when I joined, guys, I thought that um, if we could make playoffs, it would be a fantastic achievement. But the way we've played, I do still think that we could catch Salisbury. It's a tall order. We've got another 15 games, 16 games left. So, who knows? Um, as you, you could probably guess, my player at the moment has to be Ross Lafetti. Just been absolutely phenomenal. 28 games, 16 goals, 7.07 average, um, and you look at his attributes, guys, and it is nothing special. Um, he's just a player playing on confidence right now, so it's, and it's working. But also, this guy is playing pretty well, Kieran Hughes Mason, hasn't got the goals, as you can see, but he's done so much uh, assist-wise, uh, making stuff happen, his, his running is phenomenal, and he's still only 21, so there's still room for improvement. Um, who else has been really a strong performer? Uh, obviously, Louis and Jack, uh, as you can probably imagine, at this kind of level, are just incredible. It's both young as well, I think. Yeah, oh, Louis has come to the end of, end of his career, but still, two fantastic players. And this guy I've brought in, uh, hopefully, just to freshen it up a bit up front. Um, I just I mean, we do need goals. We need someone to come off the bench and be able to grab us a goal. We haven't had that so far this season, so hopefully that will do it. But yeah, guys, um, that's where I am at the moment. Not a lot's happening. Bored or happy with me? Let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, all the best and uh, see you at the end of the season. Thanks.